hey guys it's paperless student with another video and today i will be showing you guys how i take study notes for my classes so i use mainly two applications good notes and notability on the left side of the screen i have notability where i'll be writing my notes and on the right side i have good notes i like using good notes for uh, studying my textbooks and notes handouts that are pdf because i can have multiple tabs open in good notes something that i can't have in notability so i will select my pen that i'm going to be using the size of pen that i'm using and the kind of pen i'm using from notability and i can just start writing my notes so this is a setup that i use a lot of the time and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys different specific things that I do in this application, what these um, notability application can do for you and how your notes will come out. I will fast forward some sections because obviously you don't want to be watching me write everything in real time. That will make the video very long and very boring. So I will be fast forwarding a lot of the most parts of this video and then I will pause or slow down sections that I want to explain what I'm doing so you guys get to understand the tools that I have in Notability and how I use them for my notes. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing I like about Notability is that after writing something like maybe let's say a heading or a section of my notes I can always change the size of the pen and the color if I decide after writing it that I need it to be different, which is something I really like. So like for this example, this is the title of my notes and I just wrote it in black, which is my normal pen, but I decided I wanted it in um, purple and a bit thicker than the rest of my notes. So I can easily just change that. In order to um, fit my notes on the same page, there's times when I need to use the zoom in tool so I can write my notes a little bit smaller than the rest of the notes just so I can have all the information on one page because I like my notes um, in a sort of um, diagrammatic way or in like a tree form, like you can see the classification that I've um, written down here. So it helps when I'm able to zoom in and make sure that even though it's a little bit smaller, it's all on the same page. And when I'm revising my notes, when I'm studying them, I can just zoom out and I'll be able to just read everything um, without having to use a different page or needing a bigger piece of paper. So this is not any um, tool that is specific for notability. Most note-taking applications, they will have this option to zoom in. Um, so I have to admit uh, split viewing is really cool but there's times when it's quite irritating because when you split um, the screen the obviously the words and the screen of that application becomes much smaller so there's times when I have to zoom out for me to be able to read um, my textbooks better um, it all depends on my mood really because there's times when I can just read from the small print and there's times when I just don't feel like reading small print and this is just one of those times so I've had to zoom out my notes in good notes for me to be able to read the drugs the drug names much better because I have to write them accurately so that's why I did that Hey 
and when I need to reposition something that I've written on my notes I just select it with the selecting tool and easily reposition it to the place where I want it to be When studying using good notes, it's difficult to flip through pages if the document you're reading from is zoomed in. So I have to zoom out and then go to the next page, then zoom in again. One big problem I find um, with using an iPad to take notes is that I have become somewhat of a perfectionist because I know that I can always just resize or go back, uh, undo a mistake that I've made. So you guys probably notice I just hit the undo button so many times and I have to like redo a lot of things so many times it's a really bad habit that I've developed but when drawing um, lines on notability you 
can just draw a straight line and then keep your pencil pressed on the screen and make sure that your palm is um, also touching the screen when you um, hold it and it will just straighten it out then I have to draw that little receptor no idea why I undid it like I said bad habit but I don't have to draw it again I can just copy it and paste it because it's the same kind of receptor So I have already written these notes before and there's a section that I remember in my other notes that I, I want to put in my new notes. So I just simply go to the notes and I select the part, copy it and paste it in my new notes. As you guys will see in a minute. Okay, I'm not writing these notes again for the video, no, I'm just redoing them because it's just what I do okay um, studying this topic again and I realized my previous notes were not very pretty and I don't like them so I just decided well there's no harm in doing them again right so that's why I'm redoing them okay I think I found the section that I want to copy and paste there you go I'm selecting it and I'll just copy it. This is completely different notes, okay? Then I go back to my current notes and I'll just paste it right here. Okay, so now I need to watch a video on YouTube on something that I just stumbled on in my notes, something that I don't quite understand just from reading and trying to understand it myself. So I'm looking for my YouTube application 
so I can watch this video. Unfortunately, uh, that is all I could show you guys um, about notability because of the type of notes that I was taking for this particular session. But I will get into the review, full review of um, notability and all the other applications that I've already talked to you guys about. So you know what exactly you can do in each application. But I hope you found this useful and um, insightful just to give you a peek into what exactly I go through when I'm writing my notes and I will hopefully post a video soon um, that will give you a more full detailed feel of exactly how my note taking process is when I'm using the different applications that I'm using. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Give it a thumbs up if you like it, share it with your friends and tell me how your um, paperless experience is like. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.